Hey guys, it's Renee. It's been a while, but I'm back with a twin one kind of earring DIY. For this, I'm going to be using this saw on rhinestones. So these kinds of rhinestones are for sewing and just adding details to your clothing. They usually have like holes so you can sew them, but I'm going to be using three shapes. Some square ones, then a teardrop sort of shape and this kind of shape. I'm going to link below some that I found online. You don't have to use this kinds uh, that I'm using. I'm just showing you what I did and if you decide to go for does where you can find them as i said before i'm going to be making three designs and this is like the setup or the idea that i want to go for for two of the earrings i'm going to be using some ear posts which i'm going to be gluing at the back of them and to glue them i'm using some super glue and i'm just using some pliers to help myself glue this and just grab my ear posts and for one pair i'm not going to be gluing anything because they're going to be like dangly earrings now i'm going to be using some sort of plastic it's just to cover those holes and this is like the trickiest part of this diy this is what i'm going to be using you don't actually need a lot of plastic at all just a little bit because the holes are tiny and this is like super random i do have the review for this ones in case you are wondering if they work like the product inside of this but yeah this is pretty much a matter of like cutting the shape in this case like triangles then just measuring if it's going to be covering the hole and if it's enough plastic just go with your super glue and just glue it i helped myself with some tweezers to just grab the plastic and glue it actually the tricky part of this step is because it's like super tiny the parts or the pieces that you have to cut have to be really tiny so it's like a tiny space that you're working with and and it's clear so it's kind of hard to tell what you're doing really but once you have uh, done like a couple of or three of them it becomes easier and just you cannot get the hang of it this pretty much is just to cover those holes this is going to be making more sense towards the end when i show you the final result because by now you can't really see anything but this is pretty much to cover the top and the bottom holes the ones that you're not going to be using once that's done and dry i'm going to be taking my exacto knife my cutter or just any blade being really careful and just cutting the excess plastic that i have those tiny pieces that are just hanging there i'm going to be now painting this now it's pretty much up to you what color you you uh, go for for me i just chose green because i love the color plus i think it's a really uh, neutral color that goes with everything because it's pretty much like grass like nature you can place it anywhere and it looks great mixing it with some yellow just to make it more vibrant and so to paint them i'm going to be using this tool i do have the diy for this one just to grab this through the holes paint it and then just let it rest or just let it dry on the edges of my palette here then for the back i'm going to be adding some gold acrylic paint doing the same thing with my dotting tool or this tool it's not just a dotting tool it's like a it's one of those like handy tools to have around it's actually really easy to make and i recommend you checking that diy out i use it every time for everything i'm gonna be adding some gloss just to make it glossy and just to seal my acrylic paint really adding my gloss over some piece of parchment paper covering the whole thing i'm going to be assembling the whole thing for one pair i'm going to be using two ear wires for the rest i'm going to be joining those rhinestones with some jump rings it's actually pretty easy this part it's a matter of like opening the ear wires with my pliers adding the earrings opening those jump rings with both my pliers adding two rhinestones and then pretty much just closing those jump rings I initially wanted to go for just one pair but as I started thinking about how I was going to do this just I had two more ideas that I wanted to try and share but yeah guys these are the three ideas that I want to share with you I love the three of them even though they are all green I think they all are different and you can wear them with like different things the first one is like the easiest to pair with anything the second one I'm probably going to be painting that one the second one in teal or turquoise is because I love that shade and I have nothing in turquoise and I think it's one of those as well that goes with everything and the third one i love i am actually wearing them right now can you hear so shiny so cute to look at pretty easy to just pair with anything they are kind of like statement ish but it's like a kind of statement that you wear with anything and it goes with everything it's not the kind of statement that is like so out there that you have to plan your whole outfit around it you know what i mean the lighting is a bit off it's not my favorite it's not as bright and vibrant as i usually like to show you i'm not in my usual like setup and place but you can kind of see there like the idea that i want to share and also i have some like gray hairs peeking there also sorry about that but yeah hopefully you liked them and i want to say hi to you i love the three of them let me know which one you like the most Ching, don't forget to share this and give this a thumbs up thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye